He's at the hospital. They're taking him to the hospital. So go to the hospital, and I just wanted to get to him. You know, I was just, I was just trying to get to him. You already and know so, what it is. It's your boy, Lay Back, with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Juice World, you up to bat. Oh. It's your boy, Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos before we get started. You know, I got to pay my respects, man. Definitely want to say rest in peace to Juice World. Definitely got to say rest in peace to Juice. But this right here is a compilation of Juice World TikToks, man. Hey. It's going to be a wide range of emotions from happy to sad to confused. It's just going to be a lot. So why not go through some of his memories and stuff like that? And, you know, at the same time, appreciate his life, man. So first and foremost, I definitely want to say if you in here, you support Juice World, definitely drop a 999 in the comments, man. Also, share this with somebody else who you know rock with Juice World. I think this would be super dope for them to check out. And I'm excited to see what we got, man. But like I said... I also got a TikTok playlist if you want to go through and watch some of my other TikTok joints. It will be at the end of the video. And if you make it to the end of this one, you a real one for real. So let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Now this is scary. Any rapper that has come out with a song called Armed and Dangerous has then passed away. It sounds very weird, but listen, just listen to this. Juice World came out with a song called Armed and Dangerous. But he's still armed and dangerous. He passed away. Another big mm. artist that everyone loved, Pop Smoke, came out with a song Armed and Dangerous. I'm armed and dangerous. He also passed away. And if you don't believe that this mm. is suspect, there's one more. King Vaughn also came out with a song Armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous, I keep that clock on. He passed away. Now wow. it is where it gets scarier. So we all know Biggie, right? Biggie, he didn't make a song called Armed and Dangerous, but he had a song called Notorious Dog, right? The first line in the song, he says Armed and Dangerous, and he has passed away as well. Look. Armed and dangerous, ain't too many kids. The phrase. Armed and Dangerous is deadly in the rap community. It can't be a coincidence that four big artists that have used the same title slash lyric in their song have passed away. What do you think? This is why fans think Juice World might still be alive. There are a few cases where Juice did speak this into existence. There's also some weird John Lennon connections because they died on the same day. But what interests people about this theory is Juice's relationship with Clever. He even featured him on Death Race for Love. And after Juice's death, Clever released his album in 2021, Crazy. And if you take the first letter from the first 12 tracks, it spells out Juice World is. And the last song is called Alive. Personally, I think he just means that he's still alive wow. in the music, like his music will never die. But I'm sure there'll be more evidence found over the next 10, 20 years by people to just make this theory even bigger. Let's go. I was seven, eight years old, hearing my favorite rappers worshiping all type. You know what I'm saying? It was just weird, bro. But I don't, I don't, I don't really think that shit got nothing to do with music. You're famous enough that have they asked you to join the Illuminati yet? No, I haven't gotten any phone calls. I'm waiting for it. Because I'll join. <laughs> I'm a it's, for, it's like joining the gang, bro. It's just like protection. Boy, they finna stick so much shit in your ass, probably. <laughs> That's what they do? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not you willing tell to. Me, I don't want to join them. Oh, that totally you, changes my mind. You tell me, I don't. <laughs> they say they do some other shit. <laughs> Whoa. Didn't know that it was that kind of thing. I stopped by type of party. He said they're going to do all type of shit to you. All right, this is supposedly Juice World's private aircraft. Tail number N999EH. We searched that up in the registry. The owner is 501 MB LLC. We searched that business up, and the key person is Todd J. Schweitzer. Todd J. Schweitzer happens to own Arma Aviation, which rents aircraft. This aircraft went from Shreveport, LA to the Bahamas. Okay? This aircraft is rented out to people, as in people charter flights on it. Juice World had a seizure in Chicago's Midway Airport, not LA. Thank you very much. Juice World did not fake his death, and that is not really his jet. 
those celebrity deaths that seem sus to me part five i think or four this has been popular demand juice world i'm not gonna lie i didn't really know much about juice world before seeing him in the comments i knew that he passed away and i knew that he was a rapper but that was about it so i had to do some good searching for this one and this one is pretty interesting so people believe that like tupac juice world faked his own death did he i don't know there's not a lot of i don't know about that man if this if they're gonna be talking a lot about that i don't know about that in the comments y'all can speak on that if y'all want to but you know evidence like there is with Tupac but I can see why people would say that so apparently in 2017 the rapper tweeted that he wanted to get famous for a couple of years and then fake his own death he ended up dying December 8th 2019 so I guess prior before his death there was a trend where people would take his song lucid dreams on TikTok and like fake a seizure and then he actually ended up dying of a seizure and he wasn't an epileptic people also believe this conspiracy because of things that he said in his song like in one of his songs he says I'm a jealous boy feeling like John Lennon and him and John Lennon now share the same death date also made a song saying 27 club we're not making it past 21 he died four days after turning 21 running out of time so follow me for more conspiracies and comment what you think i remember that song for sure my name is jared anthony higgins better known as juice world and this is the story of me i was born on december 2nd 1998 in chicago from a young age i found love in music pouring my heart and emotions into my lyrics i started gaining attention on soundcloud and soon my career took off my music resonated with millions around the world and I felt the love and support of my fans. But behind the scenes, I struggled with my mental health and addiction. On December 8, 2019, tragedy struck. I suffered a seizure from a drug overdose and passed away at the age of 21. My untimely death shook the music industry and my fans to the core. It served as a reminder of the importance of mental health and the dangers of substance abuse. Mm -hmm. My legacy lives on through my music. And I hope my story can inspire others to seek help and find solace in their own battles. Absolutely. Follow us for more stories like this. Absolutely. Seek help, man, if you need it. Hey, I just told the homie Juice World dead. He did not know. He's the only person in the world that didn't know Juice World was dead. In 2023. Where Juice World dead? Is that 2019? What? It's been years. It's been years. Wow. What? It's been years. This shit been Are you happened. serious, bro? This wow. This been happening. When did he die? He about to cry? Oh, my God. Uh. What? It's okay. It's okay. Wow. Because I said. Oh. He about to cry. He been dead. Bro, are you serious? He been dead. Dude, what? I really didn't think he was serious. I'm, I'm so serious. <laughs> Bro, you didn't know Juice was dead, B. He died because that shit, though? Yeah. Mm. He dead, bro. bro I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. I no Dang. But that was a thing for a minute. Juice World sold his soul. Right? Yeah. No. I don't think that you can actually sell your soul. So that's kind of was kind of weird for me to see this. I don't think it's look. I actually, you know what? I feel like all that shit it has the possibility of being real, but I think in a different sense. Mm. Okay. Um, me personally, hard work, dedication, faith, all that shit. That's what got me what I got. That's real. That's real. So decode for us, what is the meaning behind the numbers 999? Oh, cool. Um, so I got it tatted on me. Yep. Right here. 999, um, if you're a person that believes anything that's any, whether you, any type of thing has to do with the Bible, mm -hmm. um, I think in the last book of the Bible, we say that 666 is the mark of the beast, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's, that's Satan. That's God for me. It's hell. 999 represents taking whatever hell, whatever bad situation, whatever struggle you're going through, and turning it into something positive or using it to push yourself forward. Absolutely. Oh, snap. Okay. A lot of people don't know that. I like that.
Juice World while growing up was actually Billie Eilish, as she would even react stating, rest in peace man, which would then lead to one of Juice World's collaborators being Marshmello, who collaborated with Juice on songs such as Come and Go and Bye Bye, where he would say, rest easy my brother, love you bro. Now after these reactions from rappers, we would then soon see rappers sharing evidence proving that Juice World could still be alive as it all starts in Juice World's music, especially in his hit song, All Girls Are The Same, where Juice World sings, I'm a jealous boy, I really feel like John Lennon. As in case you're unaware, John Lennon passed on December 8th, which is weirdly enough the exact same day as Juice World. Juice has also mentioned many times that he's a massive fan of John. Juice World would then even have another song where he sings the lyric, We ain't making it past 21, which is in his song titled Legends as a tribute song to XXXTentacion and Lil Peep as Juice World was the age of 21 when he would sadly pass, joining the 21 club with X and Lil Peep. However, it wasn't until this tweet from Juice World began to go viral online, which states, My goal is to get overly famous, shine for a couple of years, and then fake my passing. These things combined made many rappers believe that Juice World is alive in 2023. All rappers have loved Juice World ever since he came into the game, as Lil Bibby who has been managing Juice World's music career ever since he signed with Grade A Productions. And even to this day, they shared a special bond and they were best friends. The two of them were with each other nearly every day, which is why it meant a lot to fans when Lil Bibby had this to say. I still look at it like there's people that can't do that. I, I can't do that. Like, he know how to freestyle all day and make sense and pop. That's like a Type Bibby has been dealing with the music stored in Juice World's vault that he left behind, and he plans to keep releasing new unreleased music for fans to listen to for many years. But this isn't the only rapper that was very close with Juice that had something to say, as we would see G Herbo react to Juice World's incredible skill, as he mentioned in a previous interview that he really learned a lot about music from Juice World, from watching his freestyles to Juice helping him out on the daily he spoke out about his connection with Juice during their time together, detailing how special he was in the studio and how he misses him every single day. Man, I don't know, you know, that was my real little brother, bro. So it's like, man, I don't know, we still, you know, we dealing with that day, to be honest, man. It's still, of course, I'm not even gonna say I don't think I ain't, it ain't even been a day I, he ain't crossed my mind in some form or fashion, you know what I'm saying? So. We would even see someone you'd be a little surprised to hear praise from. It would be the greatest rapper ever being Eminem. He shared heavy praise for Juice World for his talent, noting the unbelievable hour-long freestyle that Juice did in one single interview. Yo, shout to Juice too, man. Like, yo, he, that kid was so talented, man. He, like his his freestyle he did on Westwood when he rapped for an hour like what the that's the that we used to try to do at the hip hop shop. Eminem would even follow it up by saying this: it, "To be so young, he like mastered that so." quickly like his potential was, was so off the charts even eminem was surprised with how ridiculously talented juice world's freestyling skills really were another leader in the rap game even had more to share on his remarkable talent this would be none other than young thug as young thug is being one of the ogs in the industry now helping many younger rappers share their skills as well as business skills he had nothing but positive things to say about juice world and the music career that he had achieved <laughs> Freestyle, he really don't write. Mm. If you give him a subject, he go rap right now. Half the time, he really freestyles the whole verse. Yeah, he'll really freestyle the whole verse. You can't compete with him. Mm. He just wants to <laughs> want. He's smart as a he never ran out of nothing to say he's that smart. As another rapper that loved Juice World and was very upset to hear the news of his passing would be Roddy Rich. Surprisingly, the two had never shared a close relationship with each other, but it didn't change the fact that Juice did Roddy Rich a huge solid at Coachella in 2019, with Roddy reminiscing on his memories with Juice. One thing that I did respect was when he brought me to Coachella 
and I was on stage and I got to share that moment with him. That's when I had, not to say I didn't respect him before, but I had, my respect had grew real deep for him because he showed love when he didn't really have to. However, Roddy wasn't That's the real. only rapper that Juice helped throughout his career. He loved helping newer artists in the industry, which is when he gave out a free verse to the kid Leroy for his hit song, Go. Juice wow. gave Leroy a huge boost at the start of his career. Wow. Leroy then hopped on an interview to speak on his experience with Juice World. I ain't know, I ain't know about that one. That's crazy. I'm triple nine. Um, this is the first tattoo. I don't know if it's coming up. This right here. And triple nine basically represents taking whatever hell that you're going through and turning it into something positive. Um, I love that, man. Just taking whatever negative situation that you're in and turning it into making the best out of it and, and, and using that situation to make yourself a better person. Um, the second tattoo I got is no vanity. And that pretty much means to um, like stay humble, you know, be like full of yourself mm. and just have no vanity. And then um, the third one is abyss. And abyss is pretty much it's almost like uh, something that I feel like everybody in this world has their own abyss, has like their own pit that they're like in. And I feel like the purpose of life is to get out of that pit and realize mm. like the bigger things in life. Um, I have real. one more tattoo on my neck. Uh, and it's a heart. And the heart uh, pretty much represents I feel like that's what some people's hearts look like. This is what my heart looks like. Like it's, it's thorns around it and it's like on fire. It's like it's protected, you know? So um, that's what all my tattoos mean. Respect. How old are you if your mama asked me? 19. 19 years yeah. of age. Damn. World is yours. What do you think next year will look like in two years, in five years? Um, TMZ is reporting rapper Juice World is dead after suffering a seizure at Chicago's Midway Airport. He was just 21 years old. Mm. You left me falling and landing inside my grave. I know that you want me dead. I take prescriptions to make me feel a okay. I know it's all in my head. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, I worked a lot with Juice World. RB Juice, bro. Yeah. No, no, no. The best. The, honestly, the Your favorite. There's nobody who is ever back. Did you ever meet him? No, bro. Right. This guy comes in the room. Okay. He comes in, you press play on the beat. Instantly, he goes, all right, let me in. Does a full song. It's the best Whoa. song you've ever heard. Whoa. Then he says, do it again on the same beat. Then does another song and it's the best song you've ever heard. Wow. And then he said, pick which one you like better. And then we wow. do eight songs in one day. What the f wow. fastest, best ever. Thanks for reminding me wow. all this stuff. Wow, that is nuts. Just a few days later on December 8, 2019, Juice and his friends were on a flight back to Chicago from LA on a private plane. The pilot of the plane alerted law enforcement in Chicago that Juice and his entourage had guns on them. What Juice didn't know was that he was already on the FBI's watch list from an event a month prior. Just a month before, he had been searched by drug sniffing dogs and custom agents before getting on a flight to Australia. Mm. He was allowed to board the plane despite being suspected of carrying drugs, thus opening a file where the FBI was keeping tabs on him. The combination of these two events led to the FBI and Chicago police to be waiting for Juice World at the airport when they landed. Mm. In an attempt to hide some of the evidence, Juice allegedly popped a few Percocets after landing, ultimately leading to an overdose in the airport. He was given two shots of Narcan, which is used to reverse the effects of an opioid overdose, before being sent in an ambulance to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, he stopped breathing and was pronounced dead. He was on the watch list? I found out that he was doing like four, you know what I'm saying? Four, four what? Pills. Well, what kind of pills? The, the Percocet. The Percocet. So, so, so I get the freaking out like, bro. Hey, y'all know my slogan over here. We want life and life more abundantly. Know the drugs. You know, if you need help, 
go get some help, man. You know what I mean? So definitely got to say that, but let's go. What the fuck? Like, I get to telling everybody, like, man, look, we, we got to send this kid to rehab. He's doing four bills, da, 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 da. I'm freaking out. You know, I'm telling everybody from the label. I'm telling everybody. I'm telling everybody, you know, like, because, like, I'm thinking that's a lot because all the people I know only do at the max one. You Can know you what I'm saying? Wow. Yourself? No. Yeah, and these, me, are, me neither, yeah. these is the ones that 30s, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, four. That, Bro, four of those, I'm thinking that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's heavy, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but uh, how did you convince him to agree to go to rehab? Because he's only, what, 21 at the time? So, Vlad, um, we found out he was doing more than four. Oh. Like, like a week before he passed, you know? We found out he was doing... I ain't gonna say the number, but it was a huge, lot. Huge number. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I remember Dan shot all girls and say, it was so numb. It took like Today? I do. I listen to all the music, man. And th that's, he said it in over, over 20 some songs, over 30 songs, he said he want to die. Damn. And he freestyle. He don't write. He don't even take five seconds off to think about what he finna say. He just go straight. So I think that's how you feel. Wow. Putting in the work. Putting in that work. Uh, my favorite tattoo that I have, Abyss. No, I take that back. I, I I forgot that this no vanity because this is one of the first tattoos I got. And when I came up with the concept of no vanity, there was actually this song I heard called Vanity. I didn't know what the word meant, and I looked it up, and the definition that I read just kind of spoke to me on a on a deeper level. Mm. Smart guy. Future regrets his influence on Juice World and the reason why will truly shock you. One of the first things that Juice World told Future when they met up to make their 2018 record World on Dr was that Future had influenced him to try lean. Juice World told Vulture.com, that's the first thing I told him. He was just like, wow. He kind of apologized. Future mm. later reacted to this situation in an interview with Rolling Stone magazine saying, quote, when he told me that, I was like, oh, sh what have I done? It really bothered me. It bothered me a lot. More than I thought it would bother me when he told me that. Wow. How many other sixth graders did I influence to drink lean? This sh really messed me up for a minute. It's all I could think about. Like, damn, what have I done? What have I done to other people? Regardless of his habits, Ooh. Juice World was one of the best to ever do it. It will be remembered as such. Sixth graders, come on, man. This video shows how Juice World died. He was on a plane with some friends and had multiple drugs. The pilots announced police that they have drugs on the plane. Juice World ingested a lot of drugs because he was scared being caught with so many drugs on him. Mm. Rest in peace to Juice, man. Juice World's ex girlfriend is allegedly selling his dreads and bodily fluids on OnlyFans. Now, Ali Lottie is her. Dreads and bodily fluids? Uh, she's already being accused of selling Juice World's clothes and their sex seat by OnlyFans. She allegedly is selling Juice World's things to bail her current boyfriend out of jail. Her fans are wow. saying some new products in her OnlyFans page. Some of the items that she's selling is the preserved dreads of his, uh, of his for $100 or 10 
What? A hundred dollars or ten for? Oh, she's selling one for a hundred dollars and ten for a thousand. All right. And then his teeth and molars for up to a thousand dollars. And then a one ounce of vial of his sperm. What? For ten thousand dollars. This is the most insane shit I've ever seen. What? Selling a nigga jizz is insane. First and foremost, like, how did she even get a hold of his jizz? Like, whoa. Who? Like, where did that come from? Like jizz and the hair and all this extra shit. Like, Molars. how did she get her hands on this? You know what I'm saying? Like, but the most important rule to learn from all of this shit, like, there's different ways to cope and deal with your issues. But this is why you don't mix drugs, pain, and women together. Because mm. then you have situations like this. Y'all let me know if that stuff is real in the comments. His mold. Juice World's former girlfriend, Ali Lottie, has spilled the tea on how Juice World really died. But now the question is, do you believe her? Y'all mad because literally I'm like, oh, blah, 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 you guys think he died from a drug overdose. You're wrong. You're wrong. Literally, you're wrong. So suck a dick, okay? Suck a dick. There's a lot of shit y'all don't know that I fucking I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and be what y'all want me to be, which is me. Okay? All 10 fucking K of y'all. And they like that Barbie, bitch. Yup. Y'all let me know about her in the comments. This is who Juice World wanted to collaborate with before passing away. Dead or alive, any artist ever, who would you most like to collaborate with? Um, can I pick two people? Yep. Um, Lil Peep and XXX Tentacion. Mm. R.I.P. R.I.P. Man. You know Juice World? Yes. His ex-girlfriend. Allie, she just had this crazy rant on Instagram where she's talking and she's like, she's like, you guys think that Juice World died over in a Well, he didn't. The autopsy that came out said it was in a There's been professional doctors looking at this shit. Said it was in a So what could she know that we don't? Unless she's just doing saying it for shit. attention. Yeah, doing it for attention. Y'all let me know, is it for attention or do she know something else? Juice World talks on his death. There's a line you recently said too that that impacted a lot of people. We're not gonna make it to 21. Yeah. You don't feel that way, do you? I feel like everybody dying young, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Not 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 um foreshadowing anything or wishing that upon right. myself. No, no. But like But you have spoken about death yeah. in your own demise. Yeah, like everybody dying young. Shout out to him, man, being a good dude. Yeah, we ate that. Bitch. We just made a no hook. Come on, come on here. Damn, you true, hear that just said that. Man, bring your fat ass on. Yeah. You want a cookie as well? I'm in this row, I'm smoking all of this hair. That joint hard. That song is hard. One of my favorites. Juice World, are you here with us right now? Do you have anything no. to tell your fans? Juice, are you happy where you are? Mm. 
This ain't real. Juice, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite item left at the cemetery? I keep hearing my name come through. I keep hearing Salvo. Juice, are you happy that I'm here? I came all the way from Florida. I went to the wrong cemetery first and then I found you. Do you feel well rested? Oh no You want me to stay? Uh. No, he ain't say to do it. I don't know if I believe this stuff. Juice, I want to say thank you so much for allowing me to be at your grave. I ain't messing with that. Nick, Yeah. Bro! See the way he, see the way he, he trying to get him some juice world. Look at him. Don't mind if I do. It's been a malfunction in my system. Crazy as hell, boy. Hey, my name is Drake. <laughs> my name is Drake. What's up? Y'all love me. Go fuck the security up. I still see your shadow in the morning. <laughs> Good to see him happy, you know. Hey, hey, do the thing that hey, you can do with your. Uh, hey, hey, um, 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 I'm gonna get my dumb now. Start over. He's talking about. He's talking about. He's talking about. He's talking about uh, it's been a malfunction in my systems. <laughs> if I recalibrate the, if I recalibrate the, bitch, what the fuck? He punched. Get that on camera. That was funny. I was going through lane withdrawals. Oh, that's and I, sh I fucking like I was in the bed and I shit the bed. <laughs> what? I, shit the bed. I got homies that I got homies that like a full poop. No, like a like like just a little like like a running poop. off. Yeah, like like, like, like diarrhea, like yeah, running yeah. off. You run off bad when you stop doing that shit. Mm. Hell nah, shitting in the bed. I would play this game. <laughs> You got an hour to play this game. I got an hour. I got an hour. Hour plus hour kicking. Jesus Christ. Oh. Bitch. He was a gamer. Bitch. Fuck ass nigga. Okay, not all that. Alexa, do you know Juice World is alive? Yes. I think that music artist and rapper Juice World. Do not show him ever landing in Chicago where he was announced dead. Instead, the records show his flight landing in the Bahamas. No way, are you serious? I was not supposed to disclose this information. This gotta be fake. But I am trying to prove to you that not all girls are the same, and you are just too bootylicious. <laughs> Sometimes I fuck my horse and my wife's asleep. <laughs> Damn. I'm on a big old farm and it's really great. The only thing is missing is a couple of slaves. I wish we was back in the good <laughs> old days. Wow. <laughs> wow. I just met my girl some dogs, right? She said it's good, right? Literally. But it ain't good, right? Mm. The shit gotta be dark, bright. Mm. Purple in a double cup. I sip a couple 16s, I ain't had enough. I spit a couple 16s and it's funny cost. 100k for a feature, get the money off. Mm. All I know is get the cash, I'm gonna get it off. Yeah. Baddie with an ass, she gonna get me off. Cold <laughs> ain't never sick, I don't never cough. 
Cold digging over lick, fuck a smirn off. Yeah, all my niggas kill us like they ate off. Yeah, leave a nigga dead in the graveyard. Yeah, I can't see these niggas like they Ray Charles. Yeah, leave him OD, that's what I'm on. Yeah, I look up to legends like Big Smalls and Tupac mm. Nas, all them niggas all. But I'm a young nigga ballin' like me, y'all. Dunkin' on the mm. nigga like I'm six feet tall. I could pillow with the flow, I don't gotta ride it. I see what I say. Easy, effortless, effortless. The truth behind Juice World's death. So recently, a friend of Juice World, Chris Long Films. Chris was Juice World's photographer and videographer. He was with Juice when he passed. He went on a little Twitter rant the other day talking about what happened that night. So let's get into it. He started off by saying, Jay, which is Juice World, did not swallow a bunch of pills because the police were at the airport. We gave no fucks about them being there. He could have just flushed them down the toilet if he cared. Jay was hooked bad. The amount he took daily was absurd, and he hid how much he really took from mostly everyone. Everyone around him tried to get him to slow down. When he agreed to rehab, it was because he wanted to lower his tolerance. He didn't want to stop. Jay was supposed mm. to go to rehab that month. We tried so hard to do positive things every day like ride dirt bikes or paintball to keep busy not to do pills but every night once he hit the studio that was it he loved it i never thought he would od i was always scared of him getting bad press pills so i got test strips i tested every batch he got mm. but no one knew how much he really took because he was hiding it once max and i really started counting how much he had and how fast he went through them he had nothing to worry about he knew the cops were there before we landed we put the strap in my bag it was all good I had a clean record, and I'm a registered owner. Mm. I had no problem with taking that charge. And I can't stop thinking about him, over and over again, there on the ground. And I was just looking in his eyes. That's how I had to say bye to him. It's just buried Ooh. into my brain. I want it to stop. I had to watch Allie, holding him screaming, losing the love of her life, right in her arms. So I don't Jeez. really like to cover stuff like this, or anything negative attached to it, but I thought this would be a good way to spread awareness on the seriousness of addiction. So. Share this with somebody you love or somebody that's going through something. Absolutely. And I hope this helps. Definitely share this with somebody, man, for sure. Oh! <laughs> oh, Hot sauce in his eye? <laughs> bro. I fucking love you, bro. Hey, oh, hey, yo, Chad, yo, you're the goat, bro. You're the goat. Hot sauce in his eye? Hey, watch your face. There you go. Get right. Get right. <laughs> wow. No way. Juice World was discovered with only 250 followers and just two days later made All Girls Are The Same live on stream. This is Juice wow. World before the label. One night side piece, a well-known producer and close friend of Nick Mira is scrolling through Twitter and finds a young Chicago rapper by the name of Juice World. He's insanely unique, insanely talented, insanely underrated, and with just 250 SoundCloud followers. Now Peace knew he was onto something and immediately sends Nick Mira a link with this message. He found him on Twitter. He was like, yo, this kid from Chicago. Chicago. He's got like 250 SoundCloud followers. He's, he's like, he has mad talent and nobody knows about him. Let's work on him. Let's get hands on. Let's like make him a bigger artist or just work with him. Make dope music first off that's all nick needs to hear and sends juice world a pack of beats not really Absolutely. thinking much of it though but in that beat pack would contain the legendary all girls are the same beat and less than 48 hours later nick gets a random invite to a stream from juice he joins with like 50 other people all watching juice live in the studio as he creates all dope. girls are the same before dope. their very eyes i'm down a whole bottle bartender it's gonna be cold, sure, Juice was talented, but no one could have ever imagined they were witnessing history. All girls are the same. They're riding my brain. That's legendary. Now this yeah, moment was true. monumental as All Girls Are The Same would go A times platinum. Let wow. us know in the comments what artists we should cover on before the label next. Wow, he did that on a live joint. Crazy. Yeah, this is uh, part two. This is his tattoo. This is Juice World's tattoo. No Vanity is now an artist on Spotify that recently just dropped this album still here. If you listen to some of the songs, it sounds just like Juice World, And you cannot tell me that does not look like Juice World. So I eat my breakfast in there. Then she had my pills wrapped up and I was supposed to take them after I eat. I should just throw them away. That's, that's crazy. That tell you something. Is that... What was that, like 5th, 6th grade? But I did not like the way that made me feel. I take it, right? And then for like 15 minutes, I'll be the most social person ever. I'll be cracking jokes, you know what I'm saying? Acting like a little kid, like I'm supposed to act. Mm -hmm. I'm in 5th grade, I'm not supposed to be like gathered and quiet, you know what I'm saying? That's not how 5th graders act, bro. But like, 15 minutes pass, and then all my personality will be gone. And I'll be like a zombie, and I wouldn't eat. I'd be 
irritated. I'm like, bro, they giving this to a fifth grader. Oh, we. Back in this motherfucker. I can fuck your mom. I can fuck your mom. <laughs> Matter of fact, the day um they said Juice World had passed, I had popped my last one, and that was my last one. And ever since then, I never popped one. Was that like a when you saw him him pass away? Was that a catalyst for you to stop doing him? It was more so a respect thing, cause you know the story of how he passed away. He swallowed all them perks. I was kind of like, I was like looking at it like that didn't really make sense. But in the same sense, I was like out of respect of bro, I'ma still never pop one again, just in case if that was the case. Um, world real. may never know, but I know there was spark in the stop. You guys uh, met, uh, how, how was he as a guy? I mean, he I was cool. I had he a freestyle cool. on my show once and I was blown away because he rapped for like 15 minutes straight. Yo, that's what that's, I, I feel like that's the story of Juice. <laughs> like, this guy's a fucking master yeah. class rapper. Crazy. And like, didn't even do that on his albums really, but like, mm -hmm. he could rap circles around everybody, like, off the top of his head. Man, I remember the first tour I went on. Dang, they're gonna cut him off like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Freestyle on Instagram live, bitch, I do this. Got good brain from a bitch, but she stupid. Fall in love with her, put her hair through a cupid. Glizzy make a fuck, nigga, shuffle like Cupid. Ooh. Make love the same way that I make music. Hey. At Felicia, I'm the best when I do it. Lifestyle just like Nike, just do it. Right. Smoke a motherfucker like a blunt, I'm zooted. Yeah. Made it rain weed in the club, I'm stupid. Hide in the bitch in the sky with Cupid. Uh. Bad little bitch wanna fuck cause my music got her through shit, got yeah. her through shit. <laughs> Spaz on every track, this shit too easy. Skate just like truck fit, shout out little Weezy. <laughs> Flow sick as fuck, I make it to sneezing. <laughs> Asthma attack, fuck her till she wheezing. <laughs> Only smoke the best in my shit C list. <laughs> Quick to shoot a nigga, give me a reason. Uh. From Chicago, when niggas get left bleeding, I'm the best. All the beats I be beating up. Listen in the rock with my shooters from Chicago in the cut. Mm. They cutting up, middle mm. fingers up. I don't give a fuck. Taking shit down so I could live it up. Dang. She get on the knees so she could give it up. Right. Don't run up in your spot. The jig is up. Hey. Uh, triggers up. Uh, you get stuffed. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> beast. He was a beast, boy. Juice World songs that will never be released. One, In My Head with the Chainsmokers. This definitely won't drop because they gave the beat to Lil Nas X. Two, 1000 Times with Miley Cyrus because the labels couldn't come to an agreement. Which is a shame because it's probably the last Juice World song that could go mainstream. 2019's Curse has a very low chance of dropping because it has the same beat as Emotions by Ian Dior. Morning Again. This is a massive grail in the community, but Bibi doesn't like the song, so it won't be released. Life's a Dungeon is the only song that is 100% confirmed as not releasing, as Juice World himself said he didn't want to drop it. It's worth mentioning that the OG versions of release songs won't drop either. OG Bandit, OG734, OG Smile, and OG Come and Go. Obviously I miss some, and by some I mean hundreds of songs, because he has quite literally thousands of unreleased tracks. Crazy. How many songs he got? <laughs> His phone password. You funny as hell, bro. TikTok. Okay, and your name is Juice World? Yeah, yeah, my name is. Is. Juice World. Okay, Juice World. So, Mr. World, what's the earliest time in the morning that you'd be able to come into the office? Nine, nine, nine. I don't know, that's a bit late. Maybe you could wake up a few minutes earlier? Touche. I guess it doesn't really matter. What really matters is how quickly you are solving quantum physics problems. How fast are you with those? I'm not fast! So uh huh. Do you at least understand the subject? I don't get it. Okay, we can work on that. Okay, whatever. Last question. It says here you got fired from your last job for stealing french fries from McDonald's. Would you do something like that again? Well, I'm gonna need an answer. I'm a whole different person. That's what we like to hear. You know what, Mr. World, you're hired. That was stupid.
the amount of trash on Juice World's beautiful memorial is so sad. Wow. Jeez. I was sick as fuck. You puked after the show? Oh, did I puke after the show? I lost 10 pounds after the show. <laughs> what if I'm dying? Nah. That's <laughs> fucked up. The doctor and he said some crazy ass shit. I'ma just crash that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Juice World is alright, man. He gonna you gonna drink his lean tonight. You gonna wake up. Ooh. <laughs> no, bro. I was bro, I'm finna get graphic on okay? camera. That shit was changing colors, bro. It was like orange, it was, was red, and then she came in the bathroom. She's like, are you throwing up blood? Ah. Uh, and I'm like, bro, you know, it's getting right. It was cool though. I mean, I guess for a sick nigga, I'll get all right. Well, maybe you should go vegan or vegetarian. Bro, you sure. wanna know what I've been? I've been on a Dorito diet, bro. I hit a lick once for 10 bands. I turned vegetarian until that 10 bands ran out. <laughs> At this point. Mm. Bro, I never asked you, uh, who's your favorite rapper? My favorite rapper is probably Juice World, man. Juice World's your favorite rapper? Why? Like, are you suicidal? Are you depressed? What's wrong? I mean, no, he talks about real stuff that people go through, and it's kind of like therapy in a way. But there's nothing special about him. He's so overhyped. Why? I mean, all his albums have reached over a billion streams. He's the top 10 most streamed Spotify artist of all time. So, I mean, what does that have to tell you? He literally has only one good song, and that's Lucid Dreams. Have you not heard End of the Road, I'm Still, Scared of Love, Empty, Maze, Hear Me Calling, Won't Let Go? All those songs are better than Lucid Dreams. I guarantee you if Juice World was alive right now, he wouldn't do any of the numbers he's doing now. He probably would. Before he died, he was reaching his peak. Yeah, whatever. You don't know rap, man. Wait, who's your favorite rapper? Oh, I'm a Lil Pump fan. Stop it. <laughs> no friend. Yeah, that's my friend. Oh. Yeah, his name was Juice World. Oh. Juice Yeah. Juice? Yeah. Yeah, that was my good friend. That's your friend? Yeah. That one your friend? Yeah, that was my friend. I just knew? Yeah, that's me and my friend. His name is Juice World. It's Juice World? Yeah. Adever? Yeah. Where's that? That's me. Rest in peace, man. Girl's about to leave me because I lost my jewels and I don't know <laughs> what to do with my life. Literally? Find you got the same you said, I don't find it. You're gonna leave me, and I'm gonna die. That's sad, boy. Is it this one? Seven, yeah. Forever. 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 Can't find this fucking girl. She broke up with me over it. I still see a shadow in my <laughs> You got four unreleased songs with Juice World. Oh yeah, they're amazing. Too. I think everyone has four unreleased yeah. songs. <laughs> that guy world. made so much music. He's a creative I'm, genius. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He will come in and like. I'll, be, I'll like, I'll be like we want to go over this and anything I'd play for him he'd be like yeah I want to go over that like and right now and he'd go he'd freestyle every song um, and like line by line he'd like say something like okay alright run it run, run it back we play it again he'd be like alright here's the next line and he'd just like go through it and he'd do like this long stream like stream of consciousness basically this like one long freestyle and then we'd just go and pick a section and be like that's the hook and take that and now copy and post wow, it here and have it happen again nuts. and he mm-hmm. would go- come in and like literally like I remember like one time I like ran out of beats. Like I was just like, and I, like, I just grabbed my guitar and played one chord and he's like, yeah, let's just go. And I'm like, dude, I don't have. <laughs> wow. A machine. Uh, spit something right now. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to stop. Y'all started it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I say, hit him with it. Let's would go. You, would you rather rap or die? I'm not a pastor, but this flow will make him testify. It's uh-huh. like I'm touching flames. They wonder how I testify. testify? My money old, Benjamin. You know he too retired. Mm-hmm. I roll the gas. I do the hash, and I get super high. I'm listening. I do the dash. I may crash. I may fucking die. I'm listening. Mm-hmm. I look the devil in his motherfucking fucking eyes, ah. and then I tell him I don't give a fuck, and he could die. He could die. I pray to God every day, like word to Allah. Ah. I'm going brazy every day. Ah. I put that on my squad. Ah. My niggas cashed up. You better catch up. I the <laughs> catch up. Hit him in his back so hard. I made him back up. Chop the break his back like chiropractors or something. Making money while these other niggas still making assumptions. What? Get the bacon and blazing. What? Put your body in the oven. Mm-hmm. I McDouble my money. I guess my shit really McLovin. Tell him that. <laughs> Double McLovin? Come on, man. Who are the people that were really supporting you early on before everything got crazy? Yeah. Um, Ski was most definitely one of them. Um, future, future. Yeah, like, like he, 
it was it was after Lucid Dreams blew up, but it was just like he, it was genuine. You know what I'm saying? It was a genuine connection. Thug, um, really ski future thug. That's awesome. That's uh, great to get that kind of support from other yeah. people. Shout out to them, man. I remember the first time seeing his name up there with like Dre, Juice, Taylor Swift, Post Malone, Travis Scott. These are people who have machines behind them, right? This that's their whole the whole, you know, drive behind some of these huge artists like, you know, who whoever's up there is that's that's part of their stature is keeping them in that top 5 in the world. You know, Juice wasn't trying to be that. Juice just became that. Mm. It's just crazy to even say he just became that. He just became the biggest thing in the world without trying just making good music. Wow. Wow. Nah, two weeks. Oh, Get right, a good ass cleanse. Cleanse of what? The jewel. Perks. A week? Chris Tommy, I'm talking about months. months. Like, no, I'm not, not, not to work your right tolerance. Right a month. You just need to work your tolerance. Work your tolerance and get through two weeks. And I'm not you saying I'm not saying you could go cold turkey, but you trying too hard to get high instead of you gotta go two weeks strong. And then that's like 14 days. That's like that's shit is so me. sad, bro. Look, he, he's literally. Pa I can't even go back, bro. It's so sad, but he's literally passing out while fucking talking about drug. Not not getting off drugs, bro. They was telling him he needed to stop, bro. This shit is so. F and that's crazy because I used to listen to the music, right, and be like, I wonder if there's people around him that's telling him and being like, hey, bro, you might want to slow down. You might want to, you know. And you see it right here. You know what I'm saying? In the studio, they talking to him about it. So. It's good to see that he had people around him. Even Lil Bibby was talking about, you know, how they was trying to get him on rehab and stuff like that. It's dope to see that it was, was people around him that cared about him and that was trying to, you know, get him to to change his ways or to, you know, help him. You know what I mean? So it's nice to see that. Fucking sad. You need to not do it. But, like, look, because if, okay. if you still do one or two of them throughout the day, you're not going <laughs> to withdraw. Done. See, bro, they're joking about it. He all, he laughed about it, and then, oh, You're not man, poor, bro, this shit's like, sad. Man. You chasing the high too hard. Yeah. yeah. No lie, no lie. Expecting too much of a high that is unobtainable to you yeah. physically right now. So unless you take, unless you. Chasing the high too hard. What? Hey, no, I'm playing, bro. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna come. Ooh. Damn, that just hurt like a mother. She's looking around the way. Options and options. Um, hold on, let me just get this. She looked like what? Hi, everybody. She said, oh, she said, what, bitch? You know, Juice World is like. Phenomenal. Yeah, he magical. Like, he's magical. Mm -hmm. He like, he don't want to just do. He don't want to just be like, all right, let's put this out. We doing, we doing a sketch. We doing like a, a look. 45 minute movie with it. With with this yeah, album. He, he, he got vision. Yes. Amen. And he freestyles like nobody's yeah. with. And then when when, when you do something with him, and if you're writing on you having your good time, because you don't really write either though, right? No. Damn. But you'll you'll go in like he man, I've had in my career, bro, you were three years old when I started in radio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I've had in my career so many people that sat down and freestyled for me. Juice World came in, and you think, think it's rope, man. I was like, and, and I was like, it can't be because I also I do lyrics too, so I know when people on this safety thing, and you know what I'm saying, like, oh, they've been there before. They, you, he was all over the place, bro. All you gotta do is give him a subject. Legendary. So I miss Juice. Like Juice would be like, this is the best rapper ever. Everybody in the room would be like, and what? Like, They're like, who the fuck is this? You feel me? And he meant that shit. Like, yeah, he really meant it. You feel me? Like, I really be wishing he was still here. Cause I know it'll never be a dull moment in this shit if he was still here. Yeah, I really be missing him. How much do you respect those that came before you? Uh, part of the reason why I kept Juice in my name wasn't only for Tupac. It was for three rappers, actually. Tupac, uh, Soldier Boy had an old tape called The Juice Mixtape, and then the MC Juice. Mm -hmm. I think so, he was one of the only people to be Eminem in a rap battle. Mm. Classic. What type of relationship did you and Juice World have? Oh, he was cool. Like, it was a vibe. Um, 
regular the studio. Like, we weren't super, super close, but we was close. Do you think that this is gonna have like a long lasting impact on music in general? Like, even outside of Chicago? Music? Yeah, like, he was a real icon. Like, he was not like, like no regular artist. He was a real icon. Yeah. So, it's gonna hurt a lot of people. Icon is different from just a regular Absolutely. artist. Absolutely. Like, right. He's like big, like a big ass artist. Yeah. So, you're gonna take a pack on the world bigger than Chicago. Icon. My nephew, um, he called me about 3, 3 a.m. And he told me that he had a seizure. He said, but he's okay. Mm. He's at the hospital, they're taking him to the hospital. So go to the hospital and I just wanted to get to him. You know, I was just, I was just trying to get to him. And so we, we come in and then the, the guards are there and they're not let, letting me go right through. I didn't, well, they already knew what was going on. I didn't know. And I was just, I just wanted to get to him. I just wanted to see him. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. So mm. once we get up there, um, they, they take us in another room and we're just sitting. And I, I just didn't really understand why we sit. I just needed to get to him. I needed to see if he was okay. Mm. And, and then the doctor came out and said he didn't make it. He said they tried to, you know, revive him. They tried using, you know, many things and it, and it just didn't, it didn't work. And I was just devastated. Mm. Jeez. He was only 12 years old in that video. TMZ is reporting rapper Juice World is dead after suffering a seizure at Chicago's Midway Airport. The rapper, whose real name is Jared Anthony Higgins, had just gotten off a flight from California this morning when he collapsed. TMZ says he was rushed to a hospital where he was later pronounced dead. At the end of the day, I still thank God for everything that you know he's put in front of me. But it's materialistic money stuff don't really mean nothing like someone says so why are you still using juice name for face but first you spelled that all wrong um you guys have to realize that jared put me out here and then also on multiple occasions sat me down to speak about if he ever passed what I had to do. So, take it like this. Like, say your older sibling passed and they wanted you to go to college. And you were like, set on that just because, you know, you're like, that's all they ever wanted for me. I'm just going to go to college. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm working really hard. I'm going to do it. And that even though you already like, all you want to do is be a hairdresser. You don't have to go to college for that. But you're going to go to college. That's pretty much where this whole thing is. Like why I'm here with you guys. Plus, I also realized that I can't just go. Because Jared just didn't let me. It's not like I was like any other girlfriend that you guys might have had seen with other rappers. It was Allie and Jared is on stage. Allie and Jared or Allie and Jared or Jared and Allie or so Chris Ward and Maddie or whatever it is. Before he passed, we were together all the time in a sense that I feel like if I That's just dipped, that it would be so much harder for you guys to understand what he 
met by his music, with his love, with his demons, with his life. And I know those things because I also lived it. So I'm not using juice for face. There's a difference. You guys remember when I had a problem with a name that will not be said, but because that was being using juice for face. Okay, we don't like, first of all, we don't even like calling him juice over here. Second of all, he's not, he doesn't, if he didn't fuck with you, don't, don't play with me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for God to be like, you have ascended. Like, if I die, you guys better be having a party. Like, dress me up. Don't put me in a coffin. Stuff my dogs. I'm trying to party with y'all and then burn me. Because it's like, act like I got into Yale or something. Like, don't fucking sit here and, like, no, I finally get to be with Jared. Like, fuck yeah. Okay, so this is not oh you're using juice well no i'm not at all and anyway you have to remember that was my life not just only jared but i did every single thing to the point that i was on stage with him so that was my life awesome just how you guys get to see there like in documentary me stiffing lines that was my life also like, you get what I'm saying? Like, this is my life also. That's why I'm like, before, after, we'll talk about in the middle because I get how some people are like, oh, well, you're using juice for No, I'm not. At all. I'm doing what Jared wanted. And I'm doing it so not to the point that he wanted that sometimes I know he gets mad at me. I don't like this shit. But I love everyone that loves him. So, here I am. So please understand that it wasn't just Jared's life. He was the star. I stepped back completely. Y'all, let me know in the comments. Like y'all gotta fill me in. Walking off and seeing through the window, all the police and shit. I'm thinking like, what the fuck? <laughs> you say everybody get your passports out. So I'm sitting down, and Juice was sitting across from me, like me and you are right now. G Money was sitting right there. I remember um, Juice and G-Money shook hands. He uh, like dapped up G-Money, which was sitting behind him back to back in the same chair. Sorry, I have to close my eyes for this. And um, I heard uh, like, uh, I swear it was his demons leaving him. And he screamed Allie and put his hands up to grab me to reach for me, like, for help. And he sees that. And Jay had a seizure. He started having a seizure. He started having a seizure. Uh, Allie was trying to get him together, snap him out of it. I got a froze. I didn't really know. Like, what the fuck I could do to help? So we're all just sitting there panicking. Everybody's like, what the fuck? And at first, we just thought he was having a seizure. And then the blood started coming out of his mouth and his nose. And then um, everybody obviously started freaking out way more than, than the police came over to us all and all handcuffed us all. And they handcuffed us in a line and they was like, get the fuck away from him. They handcuffed us all in a line, except for Ali. Ali was, and Ali was like, yo, nothing. He cuffed me and they're telling Ali like, chill out, he's fine, chill out, he's gonna be. Wow. And we're all looking like, bro, he's bleeding. <laughs> that shit was fucking me up, seeing the blood come out of his mouth like, I like kind of like turned and closed my eyes. That shit was down there almost made me cry in a way. And I don't know, I don't really cry for real. Like, I ain't, I don't know. So I like just turn away and just seeing them. I don't know, imagine seeing somebody, you feel like your son on the floor and blood. I'm down there in the crowd almost. Allie was trying to get them together, snap them out of it. 
She's yelling, screaming for someone to help. The yeah. cops to help. Did they help? Nah, not in time. Wow. It was slow. They took the time. That's wow. what it seemed like. It didn't seem like it was any urgency with them. Mm-mm-mm. I heard, uh, like, uh, I swear it was his demons leaving him. And he screamed, Allie, and put his hands up to grab me, to reach for me, like, for help. And he sees that. All right, so that was a TikTok compilation of Juice World, different artists speaking on him, uh, different freestyles, different moments throughout his life. So I thought it'd be, you know, cool to go back and show some appreciation, man, and, you know, and uh, take a look at some of his high moments, some of his low moments. Uh, and yeah, man, so if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button. If you made it this far, you a real one for real. Drop that in the comments, but drop 999 in the comments, man. Drop nine nine. He was special. He was special, man. But till next time, self love and positivity. Fire squad, I got you when you know it. Pow.